Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another kinda in-depth. If you guys are looking for an even more useless champion than Yorick, stop right now. Because guess what? You have come to the right video. I wonder what Riot was thinking when they put this. Wait, 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 wait. Well, hold up. That's not that's not right. Sorry, that's that's from freaking Rudolph, I think. This in the game. I mean, really? Like, traditionally, Nunu is grade A garbage. I mean, that depends. Remember, I'm making these videos more for low elo players, and nobody knows how to play this guy, girl, yeti, creature, monster. You just see them with their full tank and center hulk walk into lanes, throw one E, then trot away after literally achieving nothing. Well, it is my job to tilt even more high elo players when I switch up the strategy, and that is why I am introducing... Full AP Nunu. <laughs> Never has it been so much fun to run down an enemy champion and throw ice balls in his face. Never has it been more satisfying to sit in a bush all game just for the perfect alt. If you've never felt any of these feelings before, I think it's time you get ready because we are about to go kinda in depth on full AP Nunu. Now unlike my last kinda in depth on Galio, shameless plug, I actually went in depth, like almost too in depth as the video reached kinda 12 minutes which is totally the opposite of kinda in depth. This video, however, I got one simple step to make your success as AP Nunu skyrocket so far into the sky you'll become even more successful than the new Ghostbusters movie. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> this step is sit in a bush all game and wait to press R. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. While I do plan on making that strategy a main point, I guess we can do a kind of in-depth review on Nunu. For runes and masteries, I like to run 12 points in ferocity and 18 points in cunning for Thunderlords as your keystone mastery. For runes, I like to run 9 magic pen reds, 9 health per level yellows, and 5 MR glyphs, and 4 CD glyphs. For my quints, I like to run 3 flat AP quints. Basically, with more aggressive runes and mastery pages, you do a lot more damage sitting in that bush. Just a public service announcement! It's very boring recording footage for Nunu, and really hard. Not sexually. Gosh, I mean, we're talking about a freaking yeti for Pete's sake. Anyways, yeah, being honest with you, Nunu isn't the easiest champion to have success with. But being even more honest, being the master level five god that I am on Nunu, trust me when I say that literally one-shotting the enemy ADC is one of the funniest things besides this. <laughs> For Nunu's abilities, here is really all you need to know. The passive makes you lose no mana on the next ability that you use after 5 auto attacks. Now instead of being boring, let's make Nunu a hungry monster. For your Q, you're really hungry, and guess what? It heals you when you eat something, it's beautiful. But then with your W, it makes you run faster, but hey, at least you burn off all the minions and monsters you ate. Your E, however, is when you throw up the minions and monsters that you ate in an icy fashion. Because, I mean, you ran right after you ate. I mean, how dumb do you have to be to do that? And Nunu's ultimate is when, instead of running with the food, you can just sit and relax in a bush. And literally let all the food explode from you and blow up the enemy. Nunu's ability, ladies and gents. <gasps> what? Oh no, did I, did I trigger you? Are you are you a part of the 52 other genders in society? Well, well I'm sorry to all of you, I really am. Especially you, Spongegar. Oh la la. Oh, what do you possibly build on full AP Nunu? It's quite simple. Pretend you're any AP mid laner, let's say for example LeBlanc, and then forget any skill that you learn trying to learn her, and kind of think like Patrick. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> you build the AP jungler item, Runic Echoes, which is basically Luden's Echo, but really with a cooler name. Then you build Sorcerer's Shoes, followed by Leandries. If you cannot already tell, you're going to use this penetration to penetrate the souls and lives of the enemies, making them bow to you in hopes that you might not one-shot them, and utterly humiliate them in front of their fellow League friends because nothing is worse than dying to Namumu, but you will send their souls to hell and make them burn into a hot, icy bath for eternity. <sighs> Sorry. But you will send them to their graves. <laughs> I make the bestest puns! Oh, following Leandries, you will build a Rabidons, closely followed by a Rallies. This slow, along with your E, will literally make them cry as they run away from you. It's quite satisfying, 
Lastly, build that Zanyas, because when you eventually get to the point where you are blowing the entire enemy team up at once, you're going to need some protection since you're going to be standing in the middle of them. Now, for gameplay. Instead of boring you guys with tactics and gameplay strategies, here's a full AP Nunu montage showing the entirety of how lethal Nunu can actually be. There you have it. Nunu is so legit, even Eminem raps about him. His arms are sweaty, and these weak arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. Listen, I know that these jarks aren't gnarly or anything, but at least they're not in vain. <laughs> okay, okay, I promise I'm done. I mean, I actually gotta save some jokes for the next in depth. Nunu. The not as great tank like a Mumu, the Yeti who will blow your enemies into chunks of flesh confetti. So threatening that they even try to claim he isn't real. Because <coughs> he rides a Yeti, you know, mythical creature. <coughs> anyway, nothing can stop you with this build. All you have to do is remember to play smart, play well, and most importantly, play for fun. After all, this guide was only kinda in depth, anyways. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't make the Yeti angry. You won't like him when he's angry. <laughs>